Okay, so in case you guys didn't hear, my good friend and friend of the stream yesterday won OTK School. If you don't know what Schooled is, it is a show held by O2K, one of their members, Mizkif, who's one of the biggest variety streamers on the platform. He hosted a series of events called School, which is basically, are you smarter than a fifth grader? And our good friend EEVSU, my friend for over 10 years, won it and won $50,000. Wow. Unfortunately, though, uh, that's not where the story really begins because it turns out EE didn't actually win. He may have cheated on the show. Uh, I did get the answer sent to me. I looked over and I saw the uh, the prompt and I was like, well, shit, I think my math is wrong anyway. It ended up being wrong. So I just wrote down the right answer. Um, you know, I apologize. It was one of those things where you're just like kind of so close to the end. You know, you've done a pretty good job. Um, you just kind of like succumb. I succumb. I admit it. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry about that. Okay. Well, anyway. He cheated on the last episode of the show for $50,000. Somebody sent him the answer. Whatever. He cheated, and in a lot of people's minds, that's really the end of it. He's a cheater. The guy's getting a lot of hate and crap now. Let me just start this off by saying... <laughs> I can't believe this music changed. This totally changes the mood. I'm not talking about this to throw any hate anywhere, to pass any kind of judgment. See, I've been I've been EE's friend for like 10 years. And as, you know, a long-standing streamer, someone who is... Roughly on Ms. Kiff's level who tries to put on you know game shows and stuff and, and things of his sort like look at this So this is my graph Let's take a look at Ms. Kiff. It's uh It's almost comparable. Uh, he does have me edged out a little bit I I'm a bit more of a, of a grower than a shower. I guess I'll get there. I'll get there 2023 is gonna be our year But anyway, he e, uh, cheated on the show succumb to the temptation of winning $50,000. What can you do? As a lot of people pointed out, there have been a lot of cheaters on this show already. Like, this show is just... It's plagued. There, I'm pretty sure every single episode of the show has had a cheater somewhere on it. I, I'm going to keep it $100. Uh, this is how EE got into it in the first place. What revolution transitioned humans from a nomadic hunter-gatherer lifestyle to farming and agriculture? It's the Neolithic Revolution. It's the Neolithic Revolution. There is no planet where EE e. knows what the Neolithic Revolution is. I don't know. I've known him for 10 years. I promise you. And I told him that to his face. I was at Genesis. I was like, Neolithic, huh? There is no planet on God's, in God's solar system, in the galaxy, where EE e. knows what this is. And I think everybody knows that. Ludwig even says, he's like, EE e. got that? Hold on. Watch this. <laughs> super, super, yeah, he right? got that? Yeah. Ludwig even knows. He's like, he got that? What? I don't think he knows this. But it's fine. Whatever. Because the stakes are low. And I think that's what the main thing about this show is, is that for, for school, it's like, the stakes aren't really there. Obviously, the finals has a lot of money on the line, and we'll talk about that in a second. But for this, it's mostly about content, right? A lot of people cheat on the show. They're trying to have a good time, provide a good show for the viewers. T-Pain was on this shit for like three hours. He got eliminated 30 minutes in, and he just got to hang around. Not only that, but near the end of the show, there was an instance where all the people left. Basically, they realized that if they just draw a PP over and over, Ms. Kiff can't say any of them winner okay i got okay so this <laughs> this got censored uh they're drawing dicks but they realize that they all just draw dicks they never get the real answer and so Ms. Kiff just threw them a softball what's five plus five praying that one of them would break win the game advance on to the finals all of them continued to draw penises over and over except for ee now ee's whole defense was you know oh i just wrote the answer to like be funny I, I didn't think you would take it. I was part of the, the, the penis gang, right? But, like, it's clear he knew that he would win off this. Which, again, is fine. It's fine. Who cares? It was funny. It was good content. Everybody said that he was he betrayed the hashtag penis game. Everybody had a good time. And he, he got to play the, oh, I didn't know I would win. Clueless card, right? However, the winner of each of these episodes went on to play for $50,000. EEVSU against Extra Emily. Uh, Extra Emily, I, I think I heard somewhere she was like an engineer or like had an engineer. Okay, she's Ivy League. Okay, there we go. Who wrote the social contract? 
I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know who wrote the social contract. I went to college, and I don't know. I put Karl Marx. I don't. I know he's communist manu manifesto, but maybe he also wrote the social contract. Fine guess. And who did you put E? Jean Rousseau. Once again, there is no planet in the galaxy. As a friend of EE's for 10 years, there's no way he knows who Jean Rousseau is. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, by the way. Spelled it correctly. Didn't pronounce it, if you notice. He just holds it up. <laughs> Doesn't try to pronounce it. Heavens, no. We wouldn't try to do that. It, it goes on, and there are a few other instances. I'm not really going to get into it. There's also a point about halfway through this where Miz is like, Hey, don't cheat. We're watching you guys. Don't. Don't do this. This is for $50,000. Take it seriously. The thing that irks me and the thing that I keep thinking about is like, at what point do, does the content and the legitimacy, like, where do those intersect? Because it became very clear over the course of this show and then after that Ms. Kiff, like, really wanted to put on a good show. He really did. He wanted to do something fun and some fun content, have people laugh at streamers for being dumb, whatever. Uh, but consistently he had people cheating. You literally cannot fix it if you're Mizkif because you have a sponsor obligation. Coinbase has you locked in for like eight of these things. So what are you going to do? You have to put on the show. You tell people not to cheat, but they're going to cheat. There's $50,000 on the line, right? And also, you've rewarded people for cheating in the past. People have cheated on the, on the past episodes and admitted to it have like come to his house. One of them joined OTK. And again, who cares, right? They put on good content, the stakes are low. But when you have 50k on the line, things get weird. But you really gotta nip this in the bud. But you don't wanna nip it in the bud, because, like, what if EE wasn't cheating? What if it turned out EE knew this answer, went to college for, for philosophy, Mizkif didn't know that? Because the only reason I know that EE doesn't know what John Rousseau is is because I've been his friend for 10 years. I've never heard him talk about philosophy once. <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty deep cut, you know what I mean? I could understand why you don't want to do it. And also, you don't want to call them out on the show. That makes things awkward. It gets weird. Some people said you you can, like, make them look away. Bro, I could put answers on the cab. I You see that up there? Right now, that is a Three Stooges Arcade Marquee. I could have it say the answer right there. And then I could have somebody send it to that. And I turn around, and I'm like, ah, there we go. Again, it's fucked up to cheat for the $50,000. But it's not like the precedent wasn't there. Um, that's life-changing money for anybody. <laughs> People have cheated consistently on this show and really not been punished and in some cases have been rewarded. So what are you going to do? You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Look at that. I didn't even hear this news. Let's go. Well done, Mizkif. Congrats. Now he doesn't have to worry about it anymore. This guy will develop some tech. He's going to make sure nobody cheats. If you cheat, a Tesla will drive through your home and, and decapitate you. <laughs> Goosh! <laughs> Brain implants to kill you. <laughs> That's what it is. Everybody who signs up for school gets an implant behind their eye. And if they're suspected of cheating, Goosh! I think even in the lower stake stuff, it's bad to cuck anyone out of the opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. It's still not okay. But I mean, at least there's nothing on the line in that regard, right? And at what point does, again, the content intersect with the competitive integrity? Since when did we really start caring? If you really wanted it to be competitive, you wouldn't keep T-Pain on drunkenly rambling for three hours. <laughs> that show went mad long. I watched it. Hold on. Actually, it's on here. Oh, well, never mind. This got edited down to 37 minutes. It was not 37 minutes. It was a while. <laughs> as these shows keep developing, as people try to emulate game shows remotely... Uh, so this was gonna happen to someone. Interesting is a for sure way to say it. I think it's fascinating. I really do. Listen, if this was the first time anybody cheated on this show, I would be like, oh my god, this is terrible, whatever, right? But, like, it's part of the game at this point. It shouldn't be. Everybody knows it shouldn't be. But, like, we can't clutch our pearls now. I can't imagine being in Miz's situation. Sucks. But also... Maybe don't have a former cheater join OTK? You know, that kind of sends a weird message. Who was the former cheater? There's been like eight. That's the problem. As someone who's who's been looking into game show stuff and like thinking about it, I, I've been sort of banging my head on this wall too, where it's like, how do you... Because like, okay, 
I've been to so many mafias or so many summits where people play mafia. I know your faves. I know people who cheat at mafia. Am I ever going to tell you who they are? Hell no. Why? Because the stakes are low. And who gives a shit? It's fun content. Somebody gets to be like Batman and they know everything. They're so smart. And chat pogs off. Wow, what a read. And they get to buy into the idea of that player. You don't know that fucking guy. Who cares if, if he's actually smart or if he's an idiot? This ups their star power. It makes them look good or bad. The honest people look stupid and then they can turn that into, wow, this guy's so brain dead. How is he so good at Smash but so bad? It's fine. Who cares? There's no stakes. There's no money on the line. When money on the line is where content becomes like, this is this gets messy. Again, as somebody who's known EE for a long time, I, I, I know he didn't know that stuff. And again, I told him that. This isn't new information. But I also can't really blame him for, like, seeing how the show is progressing and being like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. <laughs> this has been an ongoing issue. And to think that it wouldn't end this way, I think is kind of naive. I think everybody just sort of, like, clueless. Nobody will cheat for $50,000. That's what people cheat the most. Doesn't make it okay, though. Yeah, don't give me... Again, I... I have to constantly, I feel like I'm playing fucking tennis. I have to volley with myself because Chad is going to take, if I get this clip, I have to every 30 seconds refresh what I'm saying to say, oh, this isn't okay, but this isn't okay, but this isn't okay. Because otherwise somebody's going to take this clip and then I'm going to get farmed on LSF. That's what happened to Atriok. He got blown the fuck up. He got blown up for, for, for basically not supporting EE, but saying like, you know, the same thing I am. Anyway, this whole thing is uh, a shitty situation. I'm glad it eventually came out okay. Uh, it sucks that we can't have this show anymore. Because I do think it's a really neat idea. And I hope that they fix something for it. So, Don't worry, surely the Coney version works out. I have two shows and on neither of them you can cheat. I promise. At, at least not in a way I can think of. <laughs> maybe, maybe somebody will be innovative and find a new way. Is there $50,000 on the line? Heavens no. <laughs> what the fuck do I look like? You saw the graph, right? Hold on. By the way, this line is trending up. Okay, I'll catch up. I will catch him in, in 800 years. 40 lifetimes. And perhaps we'll make it. When did it peak? Uh, this was the other incident. Yeah. <laughs> that was the other incident. Smash has a lot of incidents. Smash can't catch a fucking break, dude. It's so sad.